All right, guys, back on the red carpet. Pretty much with the stars of the film. All right, 15 days with Kanye. I'm here with director John Bianco. All right, and I'm also here with the star. <laughs> Steve, and I'm going to say the star, Steve Stanilis. Uh, like, yeah, listen, if the tonight. shoe you fits. Got, yeah, I think the shoe fits. <laughs> I think uh, Kanye wants to put a shoe somewhere. But yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's definitely that's another the next, story. That's the next documentary. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Of course, of course. But, uh, Steve, let's talk about this film one sec. Um, obviously, there's a lot of controversy going on. The media's been eating it up. So what made you come out and decide, you know what, I think it's my time to talk? That's a great question. Um, basically, I mean, this has been going on since 2016. Yeah. And um, every time I try to get away from it, I get dragged back in with another. Something happens and my name gets dragged in. So, I mean, as recently as um, this year, we just won a, uh, we won Venice for another film I did. Yep. And I did an interview. And after, uh, after we did the interview about the film, I got asked about Kanye West. And then I got asked about Pete Davidson and uh, Kim Kardashian, what my thoughts were. So I said, you know what? I don't, I, I, instead, I always try to push it away. Why don't we just embrace it? So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not going to ask you about Pete Davidson. I've already heard those rumors, and I want to get into that. Like, I, I'm a guy, right? So I don't want to get into that. But what I w do want to get into is you chose a really great director. Yes, and John yes I did. John, how did it feel when, Steve, you guys were longtime friends, when he approached you with this project? Were you hesitant, or were you just on board like, yeah, let's do this? No, I actually I wanted to jump on board with him because, as you said, uh, Steve and I go way back. We know each other more years than I'd like to admit because I don't want to age us right here. But... Um, you know, he approached me and he said, what are your thoughts on this? And I said, well, listen, you know, he has his version out there. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, basically defending yourself and putting your two cents in it and your spin on uh, of the events that went down. And um, that's what we focused on in this film. We basically focused on his points of what his perception was. And, uh, and now we're letting the audience decide, um, you know, what really happened what really transpired so uh oh, yeah. and i love that you said that let the audience decide because at the end of the day we always know there's the left story there's the right story but then there's the middle story of the truth right and then at the end of the day it doesn't matter how much evidence you have people are going to depict their own opinions and it's not going to change whether you guys make a break and move on with your life but the story has to get out there and we have to talk about what made you decide to bring it to the new york city international film festival to premiere it here in new york oh that's a great question um i've i've, I've pre premiered other films here yeah uh roberto rizzo is, is great uh he's a dear friend um and, and we were pushed to uh get this out yeah by the investors and the producers and uh, with all the stuff going on right now, they thought it was the best time. Mm -hmm. So lo logistic-wise and timing-wise, they wanted to do this before we would get it released out onto all the streaming platforms. And, and, yeah. And, and, uh, and yeah, this was a perfect platform. Yeah, and I love it. And you're giving your friends and your close colleagues the opportunity to come without the controversy, without all the BS, to be like, you know what? It was a great documentary. Definitely should be up for an award because I think it's going to be. And I want to see the thing pop on Netflix and get rerun over and over and over again because good documentaries that don't leave anything out are rare to, to few. And I think you guys included everything in there. And what I do want to ask you is, what were some of the angles that you were really looking at to make this film what it is today? Well, um, as I said, because I know Steve so well, I know exactly what is in his wheelhouse. So we kind of zeroed in on the strongest points of what went down during those time, during that time with uh, with Kanye. So we kind of focused on that, um, and we had a, a, a really good girl interviewing him, uh, asking him, you know, really specific questions, so you could really dive in deep to see exactly what transpired. So, and I think we accomplished that. And you know what, Steve? At the end of the day, I've known you for a while. You're a great guy. John knows you're a great guy. And I don't think this film is about retribution. It's just about, hey, a lot of stuff's been talked about in the media. People have their own opinions like we spoke about before. It's pretty much this film that you brought out just to say, guys, I'm Steve. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I was doing my job. I just want to let you know at the end of the day, this is how it went down. Make your own opinions. 
but I'm going to keep moving forth. Is that the logist of what you're looking to get out of this? Sure, because uh, like I said, you know, I did this back in 99 with Leonardo DiCaprio and, you know, every every major celebrity in 99. And I mm-hmm. really stopped doing security from 99 to 2016. Right. Uh, as people know in this business, when you're really into this business, there's, there's times when you're really busy and there's times you're mm-hmm. not. So this happened to fall one time I got asked to do this uh, in a time where I just had kids and yep. you want to go learn. And, you know, the thing kind of took off and uh, unexpectedly. Yeah. But, but yes, I mean, as, as a filmmaker, uh, you know, as a director, producer, an actor, um, to have this always follow me. Yeah. I just said, you know what, let's embrace it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Let everybody make their own opinion on it and let's then move on. Yep, and I think that's a mature way to do it. And I appreciate you guys inviting me here tonight because I think it's going to be an incredible film. Thank you. And guys, look for this film in all major platforms. And if you don't know by now, I'm here with director John Bianco and Steve Stanglis, also from Stanglis Films, right here on the red carpet at the New York City International Film Festival.